but there is one weapon that stands out from all the rest when it comes to combat experience. That is the shotgun. Very calm at the moment. It's very smooth. It's very smooth. <laughs> <laughs> it's, whoa! <laughs> so we want to think, is there a blue Yitzi here? They are official fight. They are. So you don't have to destroy. All right, here we go. Did not know that. Boof, boof. <laughs> come back have you oh okay let me just drink my and drink hello there and this is king of trying it trying it here with another video and we're here to talk about combat today so there's a stupid amount of ways to get combat all right and i mean ridiculously i'm going to go through some of them but in terms of certain stuff in this video i won't go through all of it namely mini bosses that is a great way for combat experience but i won't be showing all the locations for that that would be in another video so there's going to be some things similar to that that's going to just be you know i won't be showing it all but i will be showing it as a reference point in terms of where to get the combat experience anyways let's get started yeah and this time we're going to be talking about combat skills and how to raise combat the quickest and the most efficient way. So in Four Forest, there are multiple combat quests, um, pretty much just off the zombies. You know, this zombie here did just drop this quest item here. I didn't expect it to drop so soon, so I picked it up quite quickly. But this item is dropped here, and that is a combat item. Now, this place here is the best place to kill zombies because there's just a high number of them you got to be a decent level if you're low level then obviously stick to the weaker ones but if you got the right levels then you can just come here with a decent gun and just kill all of these without an issue I was saying before with this boss here this is um one of the mini bosses out of many i won't be showing any of them but it's definitely worth doing as you can see here he doesn't drop too much experience like he's almost you would almost say he's pretty much pointless to kill right but it all adds up doesn't it like 3,000 like I believe there's uh, there's more than 10 and 3,000 times 10 is 30k not only does Helena Wayne take the combat quest you get but she also gives you a combat quest so you just talk to her and she'll give you a random quest item. It could be Molotovs, a bear trap. So here's the mini zombie ones. Look at those baby zombies. Sorry, baby zombies. You don't deserve to live anymore. All right, so here's the location of the combat quest. You got one here from the pig. He'll give you a quest. You'll have to escort him. And then when you tend to escort him, you'll have zombies attack him, which will lead me to another quest that I'll mention later. Another combat quest is from a little girl called Lisa. Just talk to her like so, and you'll get it. You'll either get the little girl or the pig, and all you got to do is just take her to a location. Again, this quest only, only happens at night. Each weapon has its own experience that it gives in the fishing rod. Gives no experience at all, but still gives a hitbox. But what people fail to notice sometimes is even if you get a good group of them, the experience is only counts for each hit. But there is one weapon that stands out from all the rest when it comes to combat experience. That is the shotgun. To show you the price of shotguns. If you can't make it in Sandcastle right now, it tends to be... Not everybody knows. If you do a grenade launcher on one person, it only does 187 experience. But if you get a group, 
it's still only 187 experience it's actually just per explosion it's not a big group like if you're doing a certain event then yeah it's helpful but you won't get more experience for hitting more targets which to be honest like the shotgun it should be an experienced weapon like that but i'm assuming they, they only take the shotgun because it does multiple shots in one hit so yeah until there's a multiple gun that does something like the shotgun shotgun's going to be the king of experience now people think oh shotgun's powerful it's fun to use it just kills zombies it does but you need to know that that's not the greatest thing about the shotgun in this game the greatest thing about the shotgun in this game is its experience that it yields best use for a shotgun is to use it on something with loads of health and defense that will handle the gun this will therefore maximize your every bullet hitting and experience going into it like nuts if you kill something a lot weaker so for example this this shotgun yields 1000 experience plus per kill but if you kill something really weak you'll only get 316 because it has to take a certain amount of health for the bullets to all hit and to count as experience so killing stuff that is weak is a really really bad idea okay sandcastle when it comes to training combat you want to bring as much guns as you will need because if you empty them all out as you can see here i've emptied quite a lot of them out i can refill them all up in one go and that's the best and most effective way to restock your bullets so in the desert there are two item quests that i know about one is from zombies And here's the first one which to be honest is really surprising how quick i got that one i actually stopped recording because i didn't expect to get it instantly but yeah one's off zombies here's the location where i found it to be honest i found the book from here but i've also found it over here so both those areas will do for finding that quest item <laughs> my ping is like 519 oh goody can you not loot my corpses please thank you there we go so that's the next quest item from the mercenary resource key chest all right you get it from these guys you can't miss out because to be honest this location here is a poignant location this bit castle ruins just kill a few guys until it drops but yeah i have heard a rumor about basically you can only get one combat item that's not true as you can see in this video i've got this on the same day two combat items i don't know about forest forest is a bit dodgy but this one here doesn't have that problem now this area mercenary camp difficulty two is tend to where i get the third combat item this area has three combat quest items as you can see here you got this one here, which I'm just literally just about to go for now. I got that one off the zombies, and then I got the final one off the mercenaries in the center, you know, pyramid castle. I kind of a quest area with coins and memorial coins and stuff like that. So, in terms of location of the final quest item, you're probably gonna have to just get it from escorting that robot thing, which literally only appears at night time. So we're going to run around the desert and see if we can find that again. Now don't forget, Hunter Wayne does count as a quest as well. Now, the thing about this... Wait, 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 did I do that wrong? <laughs> wait a second. So I want to give you an item. Yeah, yeah, she's giving us a quest now. So don't forget that she may give you a quest, but you can only do four of these quests in here. And there's five events. There's three uh, combat quests there's the daytime lady that i'm doing now and then you've got the nighttime quest as well they all give you 10k experience but you can only do so many again quests like this are really really good just simply because these guys don't drop anything so if they do drop anything it's a guaranteed quest item how much are you guys taking two okay two's all right i guess there you go another 11k combat experience okay so i'm at the next location um south so this mercenary camp seems to be normal you can tell if they're normal mercenaries compared to the other ones that are only here for a bit is these ones will drop money the ones that are here for the invasion event will only drop animal parts 
Snow Highlands. Now, Snow Highlands isn't too bad, to be honest, for a quest area. Of course, don't forget your board quest. They have combat experience as well. But the combat quests in this area aren't too bad, really and truly. Let me take you to some. All right, so by accident, I picked it up. But um, I picked up from one of the mercenary guys. You get a dog color or a man's army tag. So it literally is any of the mercenary guys in this area. Now we're going to go after the infected meat next, which is off any wild beast. Okay, so we just got it from this yak here. Well, we did, but since we're so used to not finding quest items, we're so used to just clicking straight away and getting it. So there were the two combat items in this area. I'm going to hand in the dog colors, which is a combat item quest. you got to come to this lady here called Helena Wayne. She also gives you a combat quest as well. So she's not going to give me a combat quest because I think I'm at my limit or something like that. But she does provide combat quests. And obviously if you've got quite a few of them, you can just keep handing them in. And then you can just watch the experience go up. It can get quite ridiculous. So yeah, her location tends to be around about here, near this house here. All right. Mount Swamp. Again, Helena Wayne seems to be in every zone. So if you're just not sure, just look for the same lady. You just talk to her and she'll give you a combat quest. And this combat quest could be, you know, killing a bloodsucker. If you like some weird ass zombies. There's just so many part of the crocodiles has to attack me as I open it. Is that what makes it combat? Because there's so many people around here as well. Why? It's very strange. They can't take the chest off me. It opens instantly, see? So, but there you go. Combat quest. Well, I said I'd get them in, so I will do. Let me just shoot this believer, I guess. There we go. So yeah, I just thought I'd help them kill some believers really quickly. I don't know, I just feel generous. I know it's a bit random in the combat video over some of showing tips and tips, but I'm here to help out in it. All right, so we're at the same time, we're checking if there's any combat items off these guys, but we are also just helping these guys do their quest thing. Why is this not a clipping? There we go. Oh no, they've pulled them. I'm not ready. <laughs> So if you guys are watching this, if you um, obviously was talking to me earlier, I can't do voice chat and this at the same time. I have to either record you on YouTube or thingy. So that's why I said I was coming off voice chat. But I'm completely here. I'm just about to die. So let me just put away my gun. That would be a good idea. Or not. Okay, I did. Cool. This chest here gives um, formula shards and a slate. So I'd count that as a rare chest because if that became a normal drop, that would be ridiculous. So I just thought I'd let you guys know here is a special chest in this dead end area. I'm all right, Mount Snow. Now, so far about Mount Snow, I've only know there's two combat kind of XP things here. One is this quest here. I forget. This is the strongest bomb locator in the game period. As you can see, just leveled up here. So this is just one of the bosses as well. I'm going to see it coming in his experience, 3k, all that jazz. You can also drop um, steel and polymer cloth. Now looking for this quest item isn't bad. It's actually kind of fun only because when you kill these guys, highly suggest with a sniper by the way, saves durability on all your other guns quite greatly. But um, they provide $100 each kill. So obviously every 10 kills you do in here, it is 1k and dollars become a real thing i'm telling you it really does so um yeah just to enjoy it i guess enjoy the money until you find the quest item All right, so i just picked it up from this guard again again i wasn't expecting it so soon and i just picked it up instantly annoyingly oh yeah i can't save him at the moment so yeah 
that's it really and truly obviously when it says outbreak on the top of the screen be aware of that because if that time runs out whilst you're in here it will put your gray bar instantly to zero and then um things right, get so this is another one of those things all right so every one of these mystic bosses there's five in total at the moment six if you include the new area and they all drop the crazy experience as well what crazy experience but 3k combat experience Far star city All right, this is like my least favorite zone because <laughs> I don't actually like killing players or whatever. I don't mind protecting them or defending or something like that or helping people. But just killing them just for fun and just for madness, I'm not all about that life. I'd rather give them an olive branch. But seriously, uh, for combat experience on this map, there are two areas. Again, I'm not going to show the mini bosses in the game because, again, that's another video on its own. But there's a mini boss there and a mini boss there. They both got the experience that I was talking about throughout the video. But we are going to go check out this area up here in the same close location as the mini boss for the combat quest. So this is where the lady is for the combat quest. The combat people tend to always have a weapon on them. Obviously, her name's most of the time Helena Wayne or related to the Wayne family. But seriously, it's just like it's. Wait, what? Oh, there was two quests there. I was like, why is there two quests? Anyway, see, I was attacked by the base. She will give you either a balloon quest, which is what she's given me, which is my favorite. <laughs> or she'll give you a, a quest to kill two other players. So I believe I've covered every single area in terms of where the combat quests are and stuff like that. The only other areas now are Nancy and Miski University, these other event areas that literally provide experience. I'll give you a quick look. Here's just a shot of Nancy. As you can see, you've got Stronghold, the damage and victory, you know, wins. All right, so I'm just going for a few honorable mentions. And Charles Station does have combat experience, but it's not really normal combat experience. It's just more mini bosses, <laughs> which again, if you guys want that, it's in another video. But um, yeah, there's three mini bosses on this map. Obviously, kill all three of them. All right, with other RNA missions, we've got the balloon thing as well. I almost forgot the two major XP events. I can't believe it. I knew I was forgetting something. So you've got the clan boss, also known as SP Infected Attacks. When a white helicopter drops um, just outside the guild bank and you get these items. But that's not the great thing about it. The great thing about it is the combat experience it can possibly yield. So I was hoping it happened today, but it's not going to happen today because our clan is still very new. But um, the shotgun is your best friend for these events because... The experience you get is nuts and the durability cost of it is either zero or near enough for zero. So you could just keep shooting off the shotgun without worrying about your durability. Like seriously, it's nuts. It's really effective. This is where the shotgun shines. So yeah, the two events, which is one of them is the SP1 and one is the horde event where, you know, they attack the city center. So you basically want to basically stop. All of that with your shotgun, the best of your ability. Use some buffs and some fuse to increase your damage. Use a clan skill to help you out as well. And that will yield you some stupid experience. I think in one match, I tell you no lie, I think I got 300k. It was silly. It was nothing but silliness. So definitely, definitely do that. Because the shotgun, it doesn't matter what level you are. It just keeps giving you decent, decent combat experience. All right, guys. I think this is definitely all the information I've got now. I hope this video isn't too long. It's taken me forever, but I'm hoping I can cut it down extremely for you guys. So that is the three skills. I've done gathering, I've done crafting, and I've now done combat. If I've missed anything or you think there's something um, important or you want me to touch on professions, just let me know down in the comments below. All right, I'm going to go get a well-deserved rest. I've been doing this video since, well, for several days in a row. But then I said I wanted to get it done today. And it's gone from <laughs> uh, all day to like it's five, six o'clock in the morning. Now I should basically have slept and get up for work. So hope this is done. Hope this helps you all. I'm out. Yeah, official fight. Yeah. So you don't have to destroy. All right, here we go.
did not know that. Boof, boof. <laughs> you come back, have you? Oh, okay. Let me just drink my drink. 